chronic illnesses to late stage cancers. One Massachusetts man says he has come up with a therapy that can heal almost any ailment. The night team's Krista Delcamp shows us why people are putting their faith in his healing hands. Recurring endometrial cancer. Hypothyroidism. Scoliosis. It's a room full of people with terminal illnesses and debilitating diseases. The doctors pretty much gave me six months. It's also a room full of hope. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Hope that this Quincy man and his dolls can heal them. Acupuncturist Tom Tam came up with this practice he calls Tong Ren. He says using plastic dolls and small hammers, people can tap their way to good health. I've been stable for almost 10 months now. Here's how it works. Group members hold acupuncture dolls. Each person announces which part of their body needs healing. MS. MS. That's when the group starts tapping a hammer on a certain energy point. And Tam says that sends healing energy to the person who needs it. C6, C7. What you're doing with the, with the doll is you're focusing your mind on those specific points. Carol Liotta of Duxbury is fighting liver cancer and was given only a short time to live. Now, one year later, she says she's healthy because of Tong Ren. I've been stable, I feel well. Even when I get my blood work results back, it's perfectly normal. Six years ago, when Rich Cronin was the lead singer for the boy band LFO, he had all the energy in the world. I like girls in the club, then he was diagnosed with leukemia. I was all skin and bones. I had absolutely no appetite, no energy, nothing. He says Tong Ren helped him survive. Everything was improved by going to Tong. But some doctors warn there is no medical evidence proving Tong Ren is effective and say using it as a replacement for established medical treatments could be dangerous. If a patient does go off of their medicine, it could worsen their um, medical condition uh, without uh, their knowledge. The Massachusetts Board of Medicine has issued several complaints against Tam after he advertised himself a master. The board says it's a violation to, quote, make claims of professional superiority that you cannot substantiate. Tam did not want to be interviewed for this story, but he did tell 7 News his only goal is to make people well. At the end of the day, if it makes you feel better, how can you argue with it? Something's working. I look at life in a different way now. I, I think of it as a gift. Krista Delcamp, 7 News.